नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल क्यूबिड एजुकेशनल सर्विसेस वी आर सॉल्विंग द एस आर एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू फिजिक्स एम सी क्यूज इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी सेवन फ्रॉम दैट पेपर प्रोजेक्टाइल इज थ्रो विद इनिशियल वेलॉसिटी वी नॉट एट एन एंगल सिक्सटी डिग्रीज विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू द हॉरिजॉन्टल प्लेन लेट थीटा टी बी द एंगल दैट द वेलॉसिटी ऑफ द प्रोजेक्टाइल सबटेंट्स विद द हॉरिजॉन्टल प्लेन एट एन इंस्टेंट ऑफ टाइम टी सो थीटा इन दिस केस इज नॉट द एंगल मेड बाय द पोजिशन वैक्टर बट द वेलॉसिटी वैक्टर द मिनिमम ऑफ द डेरेवेटिव ऑफ थीटा विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू टी इज नेगेटिव अल्फा जी वेर अल्फा इज अ पॉजिटिव कॉन्स्टेंट एंड जी इज द एक्सेलरेशन टू टू ग्रेविटी वट इज द मैग्नेट ऑफ वी नॉट टू बाय अल्फा रूट थ्री बाय टू अल्फा टू बाय रूट थ्री अल्फा एंड वन अपॉन टू अल्फा दिस इज अ प्रोजेक्टाइल मोशन प्रॉब्लम सो लेट इज फर्स्ट ड्रॉ द प्रोजेक्टाइल और इट्स ट्रेजेक्टरी रादर वाई एक्सेस x-axis. Suppose this is the projectile's trajectory, and uh, okay, suppose we our origin is here. Okay, so this is the original or initial rather initial velocity vector. So this is v naught, v naught bar. If I want to call it. How much is the angle that it makes with the horizontal plane? Sixty degrees. Okay, so we can say that theta. when uh, t is zero because theta is angle made by the velocity with the horizontal isn't it so theta t equal to zero will be 60 degrees okay now what do we want we want a general expression for theta okay that is the angle with which the velocity vector makes with the x axis or horizontal now we also know that projectile motion can be considered as superposition of two mutually perpendicular motions the one along x okay the one along l x will be uniform velocity motion and the one along y will be uniformly accelerated motion with acceleration being the acceleration due to gravity so if i want to write the expressions for vx and vy can i do that yes vx will simply be v not cos theta or cos 60 rather so cos 60 or v not by 2 what about vy use v equal to u plus at so it will be v not sin 60 the vertical component of velocity v not minus gt now why minus why negative sign there that's because acceleration is acting downwards and our body is initially moving upwards so that is v sin 60 minus gt or uh, root 3 v not by 2 minus gt now at any instant at any instant Okay, at any instant, if this is our velocity, okay, at any instant, if this is our velocity, re being resolved into two of its components, the horizontal and the vertical, can we determine this theta? Yes. How to determine that angle theta? Using the components. So we can say that tan theta is v y upon v x. Okay, all of us learn this in vectors. Tan theta is v y upon v x. What is v y? Root three v naught by two minus g t. What is v x? V naught by two. Okay, fine. So tan theta will now be equal to root three v naught by two minus g t upon v naught by two. So v naught by two v naught by two will get cancelled from the first term. so we will just have root 3 there okay minus it will be 2 gt upon v not okay so we have got uh, tan theta as a function of time now let us differentiate this with respect to t so sec square theta d theta by dt will be 0 minus 2g by v not and therefore d theta by dt Will be sec so square theta will go to the other side. So it will be negative two g cos square theta upon v. Correct. Now let us go back to the problem momentarily and look at the minimum value of d theta by dt that they have given. The minimum of d theta by dt is negative alpha g. Minimum is negative alpha g. D theta by dt minimum is. Negative alpha g. 
okay yes so we can actually spot alpha here negative alpha g hmm? but this is a minimal so can we can we determine the minimum value of this of course we can uh, what is the minimum value the minimum value of this expression which is which has a negative sign here okay it will be negative 2g by v naught yes now why is this true if we want d theta by dt to be as small as possible we would like cos squared theta to be as large as possible because everything else is positive there so what is the maximum value of uh, cos squared theta it is 1 and because we have is this negative sign here okay it will indeed give us the minimum value so negative 2g by v naught is the minimum value correct so this is actually equal to negative alpha g okay so if we equate the two g g will get cancelled even the negative sign will go so we'll get 2 by v naught equal to alpha or v naught equal to 2 by alpha v naught equal to 2 by alpha first option okay so it was a simple problem but you had to correctly proceed in the sense that you had to first determine tan theta from tan theta you have to differentiate apply the chain rule to get uh, the d theta by dt's expression and at the end you have to plug in cos squared theta's maximum value and see that value when theta is zero is possible when is theta equal to zero when the projectile reaches the top okay when its vertical component is zero so it will only have the horizontal component v naught by two and that is where it makes an angle of zero degrees with the horizontal okay so that is the solution of question number 57 in the next one we will see the solution to 58th question